Now let's look at um, um, closely some of these microbes that we have talked about previously. The first one we want to look at is are the bacteria. Um, bacteria are simple cell um, simple cells, uh, prokaryotes. Um, remember the word prokaryote means that they do not have any um, uh, any um, membrane bound structures. Um, the the DNA is present, but it's present in a membrane, uh, but not within a nucleus. That's what we're talking about. Uh, bacteria comes in many shapes. The first kind are the coccus, or the sing uh, that's for uh, the plural is cocci. Uh, bacillus are the rods, uh, and spirals are the uh, are the curved looking bacteria. So here are the sphericals. Here are the bacillus. Sorry, I need to erase that. Uh, the bacillus are up here in this picture and then we have the spirals that are shown up here and there are many different arrangements of each which we will spend uh, in the next coming slides in the next chapter we'll go into each of these different shapes right now I want you to know the terms coccus, bacillus and spiral coccus are the spherical, bacillus are the rods and spiral are the curved or hook shaped bacteria and we will look into it much more depth later on Um, is the reason why antibiotics are able to kill bacterial cell and not the host cells. Um, bacterial cells uh, divide through a process called as binary fission. Binary fission is an asexual means of reproduction, which means that the uh, the, the cell will divide and split into two. It could be a horizontal split or it could be a vertical split. Um, some bacteria also have flagella. Flagella is a hair-like structure which will help the bacterial cell to uh, to move or to help it in it and pretty much it helps in its locomotion. Uh, what are archaeas? Archaeas are also prokaryotes that they do not have a membrane bound nucleus in them or any organelles. Um, the most important thing is they do not have peptoglycan in their in their cell walls. They have um, other chemicals um, that are present in their cell walls. Uh, archaeas, most important thing to remember is they are present in extreme conditions. And that's why it is, they, these are the um, cells that are present in the ancient um, time. So, the, with the advent of life, the first kind of cells that were present were archaea cells because the environment of Earth was different at that time. There was very high temperature, um, very heavy gases of methane, no, uh, no oxygen present, and very heavy salt concentrations. So these are all called as the extreme halophiles are the salt-loving these are the salt loving bacterias. Um, extreme hypothermophiles are the heat loving. They still are there, especially in hot springs. And methanogens are those that will grow with methane. So these are the ancestral organisms. Uh, most of them are not even pathogenic. Another kind of microbes that we want to expose ourselves are the fungi. Fungi, however, are eukaryotes. That means that they have a true nucleus and they're more closely related to what? What do you think they're closely related to? Um, they're related to eukaryotes, right? Um, they're, they, um, they have walls that are composed of chitin, which is another kind of um, a chemical which is uh, not present in any other um, domains. Um, they can be either unicellular or multicellular, which means that they can be one cell or many cells together. For example, mold or yeast are one cells, but when you look at uh, rhizopus, um, actually, um, right, um, I should take it back, yeast is your unicellular and molds are actually spores and they're com coming out of um, uh, certain um, filaments, for example, um, the rhizopus and the sporangium. So those, those are your... Uh, uh, multicellular, and we'll talk a lot more about fungi later on. Uh, fungi will will you, they are actually diamorphics, and they are molds, mushrooms, yeast, and slime molds. They're all different kinds of mold of fungi. Uh, they have both ways of reproduction. They produce uh, sexually and asexually both. So we will study their life cycle more in depth later. Uh, what are protozoans? Protozoans are usually a uh, one cell eukaryotes. Um, they do have um, a nucleus and that's why they are the eukaryotes. They're 
fairly simple organisms, but instead they still um, they are able to take food by ingestion or absorption by chemicals. Um, they move by various methods. One of the methods that is shown over here is the pseudopods, which are like false arms, and the uh, pseudopods come out and they actually engulf the food particles shown over here. Um, they have um, various ways of mo of um, of motility and they're classified based on motility which we will also study later. Cilia are hair-like structures that are present on the surface of, of a cell. Uh, especially like paramecium has that and a flagella would be one that would be a hair-like structure present for example in euglena. Um, here is an, here's a picture of um, uh, um, a unicellular algae which is shown in a colony and this particular one is Volvox. Each of these little individual cells are one cell and they're, they are present together as one um, colony together. Um, they all have cellulose in their cell wall so again um, a little unique of their own. Um, algaes uh, undergo photosynthesis because they have uh, the pigment chlorophyll. Mostly any cell that has green in color it's it's going to be the presence of the pigment chlorophyll. Um, algae uh, produce molecular oxygens and organic compounds. Algae were first if you if you look in the if you study the oceans and uh, see the depth that they're found in it's amazing how deep they can be found so because they were the precursor cells and they eventually uh, the condition of the earth had to change from high um, uh, methane and no oxygen to low oxygen and then high oxygen condition that we find in today's time and era. Um, viruses again they are acellular um, they do not uh, uh, reproduce on their own um, they will only replicate when they're living in a, in a host cell. Uh, a virus is very simple it has a DNA or an RNA core and it is surrounded by a protein coat so here could be a this could be a little picture of a of a virus you know you have got the DNA core and then you have the protein code that's all it has. Uh, lastly one other uh, microbes that we want to look at uh, are the hel Um and these are animal parasites and these are all eukaryotes um, they are the multicellular animals there are two, two main kinds that we will study later on the flatworms and the roundworms and they're both um, and the in the group called is the elements. Um, what's important about these is they have their stages in life cycle and while living in a host. So they can be dormant for a long time and then the the, the spores can uh, or they can, they actually form cyst and these cysts can um, can start growing when the conditions are more favorable.